Hey, what's up, you bitches and sluts and whores? It's Dandy. And Hansen. Back with another reaction. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. No. Girl, we got some drama, some drama. I am stressed. It's been a mess for these past few weeks. So we have absolutely loved reacting to Drag Race Espanol. Yes. Honestly, one of our favorite seasons. It's yes. been such an amazing cast. These queens are amazing. And so obviously we were going to do a reaction to every episode. So let me give you a little rundown. The first episode we put out and um, it got a copyright block from arts media. So what that means is that the video cannot be seen in certain places around the world. They choose where the video is blocked at basically. So I had people reaching out and saying, oh, I'm in Spain and I can't watch the video. It's because it was blocked in Spain, the first episode. So. I was like so pissed, but I'm like, okay, it is what it is. We'll get the second one out. Hopefully there's no issues. And I try to edit the videos to where there's minimal picture in picture in the video because of um, copyright. copyright. And so based off of the fair use of, of the videos, I, I try to just do it very minimal and do my part to just kind of give you a little uh, insight as to what we're reacting to. So the second episode came out, and so I put out that video, I cut it a bunch, obviously, and it got a copyright strike, which literally means that Arts Media manually requested for the video to be taken down and flagged my channel. You can only get three strikes on your channel before it gets blocked, and bitch, the channel is gone. So I'm over here stressing out, I have to go to like YouTube school, like you know when you get a tra tra ticket violation? Yeah. Like, I'm stressed because of this strike. And so I was like, what am I gonna do? Um, YouTube sent me uh, the information to who blocked it. So I reached out to Arts Media and I got no response. So I'm like, what the hell? And so the video was blocked and I'm like, okay, well I'm just gonna post the video with no picture in yeah. picture, which if you saw the video reposted, it was reposted with no picture in picture. And bitch, it got blocked. Not a strike, but blocked. And I'm like, what can I do? How are you blocking us just talking? Literally, there's no picture in picture. What is happening? And so I obviously, like I said, reached out to them, didn't get a response. And so I'm like, what are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. So we just finished a reaction. It's linked down below on Patreon, but it can't be posted to YouTube because yeah, that can't just afford. can't be risked. Yeah, we can't take the risk of getting another strike and then that'll be our second one and then one more and we are kaput. We've come too far to get that many strikes. So it'll unfortunately only be on Patreon. And it's the actual so reaction. upsetting because we literally, this is one of our favorite seasons. We've yeah. been hyping it up. Like it's so exciting. And for us not to be able to literally do our reactions, it's so, yeah. pisses me off so bad. But if, if Arts Media wants to send me back an email saying what we can do, I would appreciate it if anyone knows anybody there give them this video because <laughs> yeah. literally we'll do anything that we can to yeah. post these videos and not get them blocked. Correct. And we do it because we love, sh you know, sharing with you guys drag from, yes. you know, all around the world. And it's so much fun to get to do these with you guys. Yes. And so the more exposure to drag culture, I think the better. I, yeah. I think it's a positive. And so I don't know why they wouldn't want us to. It is what it is. It's still on our Patreon. So if you, you know, would like to go watch it, which by the way, it was a good episode. It was drama filled. So what we're going to do is leave a comment if there, you have an idea as to what, what we should do moving forward for YouTube for Drag Race Espana. We're still doing our reactions to the other uh, seasons, but for this one, we think we're going to do more like a review recap kind of thing. And then we're going to do at the end of our little review recap, doing like a um, each queen's look on the uh, runway, saying if we thought it was good or bad, we're gonna call it mas o menos. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. It means more or less. Um, so and so, whoever we thought was good is gonna be mas menos is not so good. Bitch. Yes. So that's kind of where we're going with yeah. Drag Race España on YouTube. Because we still wanted to give you guys a video. Yeah. It's just unfortunately not gonna be a reaction <sighs> unless you go to Patreon, which sucks. All we sucks. can really do sucks because this <clears throat> this. Like, Espana is so, so fucking good. good. Everybody on this season is so good, and it's like... The cast really One of the best it. casts ever 100%. on Drag Race. And the editing on here is so good. So the judges, good. like, I Everything. love it. Everything's been so good. So after all that stress, we're going to put that behind us. Yes. We are gonna do a little recap review of the episode. So we hope you guys like this. If not, like I said, leave a comment of what you want and we'll try to do it. We already made a little cocktail because yes. we uh, just finished our reaction. Yes. But 
Literally so. The queens came in and they had to do a uh, mini challenge. Yes. These looks were a mess. <laughs> Atrocious. Well, I, I, it was like a quick a quick change challenge. They had to create their soccer looks. Yeah. And then football. But football. Soccer. Yes. To but us. Soccer to us. Yes. And then they had to like um, go walk down a little soccer runway yeah. and like you know portray their character. It was so cute. And then who wait who won that? Um, armpit. Um, killer. Killer. Killer queen. queen won that. Killer. Yes. And then they played a little soccer match or football match. It was amazing. It was cute, but it made me stressed because it took me back to my soccer days <laughs> and I hated that. And yeah. So then because Killer Queen won. She was able to choose who was going to be grouped together in this challenge where low key we're pissed. We'll get to it in a second because right. they played this really good song with RuPaul and them lip sync, but they never showed it. Yes. Probably because of all the drama that so the challenge was, it was basically like a branding, it was, oh, it was a triple threat challenge, right? The song. S Mocha Tris. Yes. So they had to be an actress, they had to sing, and they had to model. Yes. And so they had to be in pairs, and then they had to pick um, a theme, which was like a magazine theme. So there was grannies, hookers, um, glamour. And nasty girls. Nasty girls. Still kind of confused about that, <laughs> but. Nasty girls. I feel like, um. <laughs> Hugasio was Hugasio out for me yes. in that. So Killer Queen paired herself up, up with Arancha. Yeah. And they did um Grannies. They did Grannies. But honestly, they did so good. Killer Queen did so good with the pairings and the yes. choosing of the what they were gonna do. I, I But some it. girls, like for example, then we have um Dovima and Carmen who got paired and they did glamour. They, Karma was very like, I wish I could do something different because I'm, everyone's used to seeing me do glamour. I don't know. I feel like she, it could go either way. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. And then we had Ugasio and Pupi and they were nasty girls. I love them together. They, they were had so a good funny. chemistry. It was so funny. And the waxing moments were oh, yeah. iconic. So they had, they had to do the little mo um, acting skits. Yeah. And then um, their, um, the, like modeling or whatever. But then the singing part, we didn't get to see. Pissed, pissed, because that song was a motherfucking bop. I yeah, they had it. like run on treadmill and like lip sync. Yeah. And, like, and it was like a big part of that. But we like, never got to see it. Maybe they'll play on special releases. Maybe of that. the blue, maybe the gag reel. Yeah. And then the last team was Inti and Sagitaria, and they were hookers. So good. They came out so in funny. character. It was amazing. The acting portion was just a little bit like not. They were yeah. It took well. it took a bit for them to get into it. Yeah. But then once they got into it, it was yeah, pretty funny. For sure. It was pretty funny. So I I liked it. I think my favorite out of all of them was probably Lugasio and Pupi. They did really good together. Yes, yeah, so Ugasio had to pretend like she had to wax her, and she was getting off on the waxing. So Amazing. it was hilarious. So good. And there was a lot of fucking kissing. A lot of kissing Everybody and tongue was action kissing. and humping. And Daddy's the fucking oh, the best. Pit crew. This is the best cast, the best pit crew. Like, it's so stressful that I can't put this video out on YouTube. Like, literally, email your House of Representatives and get this fucking <laughs> fixed, okay? <laughs> Um, we're gonna skip the runway because we're gonna do our mas o menos yes. moment at the end. Yes. But there was some drama, girl. So this was like a nice. crazy episode. And once again, email your house of representatives because I'm pissed that this video is not going on YouTube. But Inti decided to just say, uh, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I think Inti was gonna probably be in the bottom. She wasn't agreeing with her critiques. She and didn't so like her critiques. As soon as she left the stage, she literally just said, I'm done. And it's weird because the queens were like talking about what happened, but they weren't showing the footage. I feel like for me, I would have preferred to see the actual footage of what was going on. Yeah. But, but they had, did like a story. Maybe they did moment. it for a reason. I, I don't know. But we yeah, we really didn't get much. It's just cut to Inti going to the back and taking everything off, taking her makeup and saying, I'm not doing it. Yeah. And so then the host came back and tried to talk to her. She's like, well, you know, you signed up for this competition and you knew that you were gonna be critiqued every week. Which I 1000% agree with, but I still respect Inti's making her final decision, bitch. This is your drag. If this is how you're feeling, I, I, do, you, girl. do what is best for you because she, she knew she was being pushed to a certain limit and if you can't handle that, you gotta take a step back. Yeah, and I do wish, like, 
I do get it because she 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 said she wasn't really um, feeling the critiques she was getting every week, and so um, I, the thing is though because we feel like this cast is so good, mm -hmm. they're they are picking at straws. Like yeah. it's like one little detail is off, they're gonna critique you about it yeah. because everybody is so good. It's crazy, and some of these looks are insane, and so yeah, it is hard, and so she probably feels like well they're picking at something so small because her look was bomb. Yeah, it was so good. There was meaning behind it, yeah. and they were like, oh, we want to see you push it further. I mean, I, I don't think she could have pushed it further. I think the look was so good. I loved it, but I mean, if that's Girl, how you feel. there was some cat looks on here that are I questionable. Know. But nonetheless, I, while I do respect her um, choice, it still is stressful to... You, you are coming on the show to be judged and critiqued, so yeah. you should mentally be... You should know that that's going to happen. Correct. And, and which the judge, one of the judges did say, you know, you are going to get a ton of opinions, and some of them you can use if they're helpful to you, use them, mm -hmm. and the others, you just forget about it and move exactly. on. But, exactly. I, I mean, again, it's up to her, and if that's how she feels, it is what it is. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Yeah, um, what do you think? But, one of, another, like, this episode, there's so many layers. So she left, yes. and then, um, Dovima lip-sunk by herself. Lip-synced, lip-sunk, lip-stunk. What's the right word? I have no idea. She lip-synced. Lip-synced. Okay, we're gonna say that. Lip synced by, by herself. herself, which was a, a fucking iconic moment. I the lights were flashing. Iconic. Beautiful background. Like, they got coins here. And then the queens all came on at the end. Like, girl, it was like a finale moment. I know, it, it was, was a so finale good. moment. Uh, yeah. They were dancing, then they all bowed together. Like, girl. It was so good. If you're not watching this, you need to. Go, yeah. It's so Dragon's good. Dragon's Fight is so good. Whew. But yeah, that was such a good, like, crazy episode. It was a roller coaster. But. These, some of these looks... This is a good episode for us to do our first Maso Menos because yes. there were some that were like... It was, yes, the finish. looks were also a roller coaster. Yes. So we're going to, I guess, start that. We're going to start with Killer Queen. We, Killer don't, know Queen. Where, we don't know who's going to say Maso, who's going to say Menos. Correct. And so we'll say it at the same time. Okay. Correct. And then at the end, we'll pick who our favorite out of all of them was. Oh, okay. Right? I love that. Okay. Ready? So. One, two, three. Menos. Why? I, I I feel like I agreed with the judges. It was like two looks. The back was one look, the front was one yeah. look. And when she came out on the runway, I did think that there was a lot going on. Yeah. And so I wish she would have maybe taken it down a bit. Um, she looked amazing. Her makeup looked so good. But it just wasn't one of my favorites. I just don't like the cat look with the cape and like the front. It, there was there really was a lot going on, and I just felt like it wasn't cohesive it wasn't meshing well for me i had questions i don't know cat looks from the runway for me and some in a challenge like this yeah there's so much you could have done yeah like i do love that cape though the cape, the was, cape beautiful. was gorgeous she did have a meaning which i liked as well but the cape was stunning but altogether it was a hodgepodge but yeah. it's a manos man it's a manos <laughs> Okay, next one is Arancha's look. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Okay, okay ready? One, one two, two, three. Manos. Manos. Girl, she's in a motherfucking diaper. I liked her moment in the beginning, and she had some confidence throwing it off, but a motherfucking diaper see-through with the San Francisco hat. Girl, Yeah, it wasn't on? my favorite look, and I do love Arancha, but that was not my favorite look. But the judges seemed to like it. I think the guest judge liked the, her confidence. Yeah, but. yeah. She, it was, because the runway was like paying um, homage to the roots, drag roots. Yeah. And so um, hers was, she was paying homage to like the f popular food. Yeah. From her. Which is cheese, and I fucking love oh, cheese. Yes. So it's good. Manchego cheese. Love. Yeah, so, and then it turned into something else. I don't know, but we, it was just not, the compared to everybody else, it was not it. Not it, no sis. No. All right, next was Dovima. Dovima. All righty. One, two, three. Moss! Live Moss, bitch. Live she Moss. She had a gown that had poofy hips. I live like for a poofy diamonds hip. and diamonds on her titties. And, and the headpiece was like a um, metal uh, shield and saving armor. What, it was like, the, she looked like Joan of Arc. 
Like, she looks so... And, oh, and the metal armor on her oh, arm. And the rose. Oh, she had a rose. And the bottom of the dress just was beautiful. Everything was beautiful. They did kind of clock a bit for her runway walk. But, but girl, she was sick. She was walking. Yeah, around. yeah, mama. She couldn't let her walk like that all she wants. It, it was such a good look. Yes. And I was living for everything about it. All right, up next was Carmen. Carmen. All right. Let's Oy, okay, ready? You gotta process it. Uh, yeah, because I love Carmen. You do. Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. Minos. I can't. Why are there two cat looks on the runway? Please, please leave a comment. She, okay, so she was paying homage to um a, 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 a endangered species cat or mm. or something from her, where she's from, but it, it looked too much like Taylor Swift the cat. Girl, one hundred percent. And I love Taylor, but girl, if I, in, again compared to others. No, but I love Carmen so, so much. She's been doing so good. So she good. looked beautiful, like as a cat, probably the one of the prettiest cats I've ever seen. She looked beautiful. Track. But it just, it didn't hit me in the right place Correct. that I needed it to hit me. So she's a manos. Correct. So the next one is Ugacio Crujiente. All right. One, one two, two, three. three. Mas. Mas. I don't know how she was safe. She, I don't know how she was safe, yes, but I don't know how she's been on this planet for 25 years and I've never seen her because she is so Out mesmerizing. Out of this world. I love her. Out of this world. This look is like art. She's art Walking Simone. Just art. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she's walking art. Everything about it, the makeup was good, the look was good. Bitch went like this and her heart was on fire. It was just, everything was so good about this look, you how, guys. How was her heart on she poked my heart. She was on she fire. My heart. Like, it was crazy. The That's amount right. of work that you can tell she puts 100%. into this in her thought process is mind-blowing. Insane. It's it was such a good look. Amazing. I I'm it. really rooting for her. And so our next one is Poopy Poisson. Okay, Poopy. Okay, Okay, poopy. okay, okay, okay. Ready? One, two, three. Manos. Maso Manos. I You're don't in the middle. I'm in the middle. Okay, I'm going to say Manos because... I Here's the thing, she was in the top. I know. Week, but I think it was because we didn't get it. I just don't think I get her looks. I, I don't know what it is. They I, live for Poopy on this. They do. Yeah, which I don't think Poopy's bad. No, I, I think very that, entertaining. Yes, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. And and when they were explaining, I still didn't get it. It was I a tree with really a bear and a- fucking hated that bear. Like, I need a high fashion <laughs> glamour bear, not a bear that I just got from the 50 cent crane machine. It does look like she like, got that. What? What? I do love the hair though, how it goes into the tree. Yes. It comes down like roots in their, her bangs, like fucking iconic. They said stunning. it looked like chocolate churros girl and I see it and I hear it and I and love I like it. it. And I want it and I yes. want it. But not my fave, I didn't get it. Um, but uh, all just our opinions. But I have to say, I did agree with their critique saying this was the best she's looked because that's Correct. I 100% agree with that. She looked amazing. The outfit, it's just we didn't get it, I guess. Well, for me, at least, it I just, didn't get it. It was, I, I don't know if it, I didn't get it, but uh, I don't know. Something about Poopy, I, I need to connect more. connect more with. So hopefully next episode with Snatch. We see her snatch, and I, I, I'm embracing her snatch, so. Her next queen is Gone But Never Forgotten, Inti. Ready? Oh, girls don't say it like she died. Oh. Inti. Okay. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> Okay, <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Moss. Oh, yes, low moss. So I thought. Moss. This was such a good look. That cape was so stunning. The cape was gorgeous. The headpiece. The headpiece was beautiful. The thigh high boots. The thigh high boots. I even liked the dress with the heart, with the sun or whatever that she had under it. And and I think they were trying to say that, you know, the, the cape, everything else was good. Yeah. And this was a little simple. Mm -hmm. But I love the meaning behind it, her heritage. Yeah. It was beautiful. I 100% agree. And when she came out and she did this, like <gasps> that cape is just stunning. It's beautiful. I, the makeup, I think I needed more information about. I wasn't, uh, there was a lot with the makeup that I was like, I, I was Confused looking for about. more information on. Okay. But, um, and I do kind of understand what they're saying. Like, it wasn't maybe as cohesive with the boots and like a, just like a dress. But to me, I don't feel like you can have a crazy dress with the crazy cape and yeah, then this makeup correct, and the headpiece. So correct. I understand what she was doing, but... I thought it was beautiful. She looked it, amazing. It was up there for me with 
school basketballs. It was very art. Yeah, very I art. agree. And so I loved it. And so I'm sad that Inky left, but. And I honestly think it's it is so like disheartening because she had such a good time with Sahitaria. Uh -huh. Like they did so they like were connecting when they were doing their skit, and I just feel like it's upsetting that I know. She left, but I know. I guess in your, the world of you, you think she died, so our I know I didn't mean like that. <laughs> it's no. much love. No, we love you, Inti. And then Sahitaria. Okay. Last but not least, Sahitaria. One, two, two three. three. Mas, bitch, she was stunning. Stunning. The makeup. I don't even know what a cream of bitch is, I but know I want to eat all yes. of that fucking cream from the bottom from the top. I don't remember what it was called, crema something, but it was some type of dessert. But it was so simple. But the way she executed it and the way she served it to us on a platter. And she had a motherfucking spoon. Can we and talk about the little fucking spoon that she had? Oh, yeah. She was, it was like her dress was dripping in that crema. Oh, girl. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm horny. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, like it was such a good. Sagitaria. Sagitaria. <laughs> it was such a good look. And she won the challenge. And so it was well deserved. The look was so good. Beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm a Sagitaria stan. We all live. The way. This was such a good episode, and honestly, recording this, I love you had so much fun. It was kind of fun, <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is what we'll do. So maybe this is the new gig. Maybe for España. For España, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Maybe you guys like these. Maybe, maybe we'll do reactions to other things and this. Let us we'll know. See. Or if you hated this, it could be yeah. completely off. Just Let don't us know. Just like it. Yeah, don't dislike it. Still no, give it a thumbs just up. Just give it a comment. But leave tell comments us. and tell us if you did it or did like it. And if there's something else you think we should do, because bitch, we're all ears. We're we here listen. to make you happy. We read every comment. <laughs> yes, we do. So bitch, please go ahead and leave one. And the comments got deleted, so we didn't get to pick our favorite comments. Right. So maybe next week we can pick our favorite comment. For this, yeah. For this. So yeah. we'll see how this goes. It's just going to be something new. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Show it some love. It really helps out. And thanks for watching, and just remember, stay dandy. Bye!